You know, folks, I love to bring you guys positive updates, even though, unfortunately, they don't happen often enough. But today we have something really optimistic and certainly 100% fascinating because a group of experts, a collection of experts with decades of experience are all coming out at the same time and saying something very intriguing, that Donald Trump is in much bigger trouble with view to Merrick Garland than any of us actually think that because we're seeing it from the public direction and we're not necessarily getting the moment to moment updates and all of the actual work being done in secret behind the scenes, we're not seeing the full picture. And so I have two things for you. First, a clip examining the role of Trump and his cronies and the J6 committee making an unprecedented public announcement about Donald Trump's guilt and two behind the scenes experts shedding critical insight about how Merrick Garland is finally, finally targeting Donald Trump like never before. Your former colleague, you were an active solicitor general. Attorney General Holder was uh, the person in charge of DOJ for a period of time. This is what he says, and I, I remind viewers, he doesn't weigh in on everything, but he says, Mike Lee must be confronted about his, quote, actions to subvert our electoral process and held accountable. Uh, and the media, he says, should look at this not as partisan, but as part of the job of getting to the bottom of it. Um, what do you think of that point from Holder and what Lee owes uh, at least his constituents, if not the nation? Eric Holder's absolutely right, 100 percent. I mean, and it may not be criminal, Ari, it might be, you know, but it's certainly a betrayal of our constitutional democracy, or that's the way it looks from these texts. Now, maybe he's got some explanation. I'd like to hear it. And I'd like sure. to hear people like Senator Romney, who've stood up for the Constitution in these moments from his state, you know, ask some of these questions. And there's a really important article today, Ari, in The Bulwark by Amanda Carpenter. And what she does is she really goes into an explanation of what Senator Lee was doing, that he was trying to get legislators to try and throw out the popular vote. And she goes through this in some detail. And I guess you could say, well, nobody's perfect. I mean, who among us hasn't made a rush to judgment and realized they made a mistake? Um, but, you know, this is really a constitutional betrayal. This is not some minor thing. Neil Kotchal with the democracy is dying dad joke pun. We're here for it. Uh, Congressman Raskin also speaking out. Take a listen. This was a, a coup organized by the president against the vice president and against the Congress in, over to, in or, order to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Trump was prepared to seize the presidency and uh, likely to invoke the Insurrection Act and declare martial law. Based on what he knows, uh, your response to that and the fact that at every turn, Trump never showed the ultimate willingness. Um, I, I'm not going to use a word like boldness, but, but whatever you want to call it, he didn't do some of those things when he was alone. He wanted the AG or someone to cover him. Uh, your final reaction there. Right. I mean, uh, Congressman Raskin obviously has access to information that you and I don't. But the information we've seen shows exactly that, that Trump would have done it if he could get away with it. And he enlisted or at least he had the support of all sorts of people like Mike Lee, who were plotting before, during and after the election to try and hand Trump the, you know, the, the presidency, even if he didn't win the actual vote or the Electoral College vote. I mean, this is it doesn't get more chilling than this, Ari. And so, you know, I know we talk about crime a lot and so on, but there's a much deeper thing here, which is the essence of what our democracy is, is giving everyone the right to vote. And what these people wanted to do was literally take it away and give it to the hands of some state legislators, you know, people, you, most Americans don't even know who their state legislators are and have them pick the next president yeah, and steal. instead of the voters. And steal the election. So you can see there, that's a really good overview. You got a top legal expert in Kai Chow there who's giving an absolutely you know, clinical overview of what Donald Trump and Mike Lee and all of them have done. And it really juxtaposes it. It connects it to that clip of Jamie Raskin, making it very clear that he's saying Donald Trump launched a coup. Donald Trump tried to launch a coup against the American people, against Congress, against democracy, even against his own vice president. And he did that with a clear 
criminal mindset and they're moving against him. The J6 committee has been hinting at these things, but to see a top ranking member of the committee say that on video is something that we haven't quite seen yet. Even last week, Liz Cheney, who obviously was very critical of Donald Trump in an interview, wasn't as explicit and direct as in that clip. And this pairs really well with three experts who have all come out and said that if you actually look behind the scenes, Merrick Garland may be far closer to charging and indicting and arresting and jailing Donald Trump than many of us imagine. That yes, I don't think we're unreasonable to be frustrated and impatient, but we do have to hear this perspective. I want to read it. Speaking with The Guardian's Peter Stone, former Inspector General Michael Bromwich said there's more going on at the DOJ than meets the eye. Quote, DOJ is methodically building the case from the bottom up. It is almost surely, surely the most complex criminal investigation in the nation's history, involving the most prosecutors, the most investigators the most digital evidence and the most defendants. He explained before adding, people view the scores of ongoing criminal prosecutions of participants in the J6 insurrection as somehow separate from the investigation of Trump. They are not. He is the subject of the investigation from the very top of the pyramid. People need to carefully watch what is happening and not react based on their impatience. And then it notes here on another legal front that could implicate Trump and some top allies, the deputy attorney general revealed in January that the DOJ was starting a criminal investigation into a sprawling scheme to replace legitimate electors for Biden with false ones pledged to Trump in seven states that Biden won. And critically here at the bottom, it says Dennis Aftergut, a former federal prosecutor, told The Guardian that recent recent actions by the House January 6th panel and by the DOJ, along with court opinions, have notably increased legal threats to Trump. With Aftergut elaborating, anyone would need ice in their veins not to feel the heat when all three branches of the federal government are breathing down your neck. So let's make that very clear. What we're seeing is the J6 committee being louder and more explicit and bolder than they've ever been. And you have three experts with literally generations of experience in prosecution and in law enforcement and investigation saying Donald Trump is under more heat than many of us in the public are seeing. I know this isn't good enough yet because we need to see him in that jumpsuit, but this is positive news. Maybe we just have to wait a little bit longer.